data types. Let's have a look at the different types of data that we can have. So we have a number of different types and there's a little diagram here to try and give you a general idea. So when I collect data, it can either be in general terms some kind of numeric, numerical data. So numerical meaning numbers, okay? Or it could be some kind of categorical data. So categories, any data that I have that is in a group or word data, those are categories. So looking, for example, at your ethnicity, um, your gender, all of those things are categories. Whereas numerical data are things like your height, your weight, um, all of those different things about it, anything that we can turn into a number. Now within the numerical category, we can have, uh, we can separate that out into two types. We can have continuous data and discrete data. So continuous is if it's on measuring. So if I'm measuring your height, measuring your weight, all of those things are measurements, um, whereas discrete data is my count data. So if I was to count how many achieved credits you got, or I was to count the number of pens in your pencil case. So when it has to be a whole number because you're counting it, those are your discrete variables. So in terms of the wall sit spreadsheet, we've got our, I've just given you the example there, Let's have a look at them and decide what each of them would be. So if I was answering it uh, under first name, I would write um, the word Elizabeth. And I'm not going to write that in full. I haven't got the whole room there. I'm writing words. Words are a category. So that's why first name would be a categorical. Under last name, I would write my surname, Sneddon. Now again, that is words. That is a categorical data. Under age... I would have to choose the 16 plus category um, and so because I'm dealing with numbers now um, that is going to be numerical data and more specifically in this case I'm just looking for the years 14 years old 15 years old 16 years old I'm not worried about whether you're 14 and a half or whatever so in this particular case I'm going to count it as discrete but there is justification that you could also count this as numerical uh, sorry continuous if we left it open-ended. So gender, if I would have to circle female there, again, I'm, it's a word answer, so that is a categorical data. Math teacher, I'm going to circle SN, and again, there's only a number of options, these are word options, that is another categorical. Wall sit time, if I had a wall sit time of 10 seconds, well that is a numerical, it's a number answer, and I could have it as 10.3 seconds, so I can have decimals and fractions. So I'm measuring a time, I'm not counting the time. So that means that that would be a continuous data set. Um, or continuous variable, I should say. And the leg up wall sit time, if I had a time of 2 seconds for that, again, it's a number. So we know it's numerical, and more specifically, because we're measuring the time, that can be continuous.